even though we're not planning a moving picket, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what happens on a moving picket um, and sort of what marshals do. Mostly what marshals do is, keep, again, it's all about keeping your eyes open and watching what's going on. So a moving picket is, uh, needs very few marshals. We usually keep two marshals inside the picket to sort of tell people where to, ha how big the oval should be. And a couple people on the outside, on the um, uh, sidewalk part, to keep people from spreading out too close to the building so that people can walk by. So there's a little bit of tucking the uh, picket in. Um, and just watching the perimeter and watching the police because you're just looking for anything that's about to change uh, and looking for any heckler so that you see it happen you know, before it's right on you. Um, and it's very important for marshals to, you can chant, you can you know, participate. Um, I wouldn't hold a sign in any of those situations uh, generally uh, and to stay calm because when marshals lose it, it makes everybody else panic. Um, so marshalling a picket is really just sort of standing there and, and uh, watching what's going on and, and uh, being an obvious presence. And, and part of this is also that when we have an obvious presence and both the police know that we're watching what's going on and bystanders know that we're watching what's going on, less happens just by the fact that people can see that there's someone watching. So that's really what we do, we do on a picket.